Hey guys, Malik from trackfilms.com and today I'm going to be first talking about how important it is to understand the behavior of our site visitors. If you can get that part, you're going to sell more for sure. However, unfortunately, we are not going to be talking about the psychology behind the behavior of people. That is a topic too deep for me. But we're going to be looking at what behaviors you can extract from your Google Analytics account of your site visitors. So let's head over to the Analytics account. Okay, so now I'm in the master view of the Google Merchandise Store, which is like a free demo account. You can basically get access to it through a link. Um, and what you see here is that as soon as I land here, then there are these sort of sections of the reports and we're talking about the behavior report today. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff uh, out here that can tell you what the behavior of your customers or your users are. Now, today's focus is just on behavior flow report. Now, the reason I'm interested in behavior flow report is because it gives you a lot of things. It tells you how people are moving from one page to the other, where the drop-offs are, and that will give you an idea on what pages you have to optimize, right? But the first thing that you have to know is that um, you have this these drop-downs right here, okay? So if you have grouped your content, then those drop-downs are available here. So right now what I'm looking at is pages and events. We could also go and look into the brands, for example. So I think that Google right now on their merchandise store has uh, four brands. One is for Google, YouTube, Android, and and what else? No, only three. So Google, YouTube, and Android. So that's what they're looking at. That's what we are looking at here. Uh, that you can also go under level of details. So you have to show more connections. If you want to see more connections, then it will show you more connections. If you want to see fewer connections, then you see fewer connections. Um, but if you're like a beginner, uh, if you're a startup, for example, less traffic, then you will want to go with more connections. But if you have a lot of traffic, you're, you're your website is huge, then you probably go somewhere in the middle. So for example, Google right now, by default, gives you um, this level of detail somewhere in the middle. Um, but right now, I just move the slider to show more connections. And then of course, you can export what, uh, this in PDF. Now, what you can also do here is then you can select um, what is it that you wanna look at. So right now, we're looking at landing pages. So um, these are the pages where your users are landing on Google and then they're moving on here to the next page. These are the starting pages basically. This is where the session starts. Um, so you'd see that there are some pages that are grouped and they're not set. What this means is that um, the pages that are inside this group were not categorized in the content grouping when Google um, or whoever is working on this account group the content. And then we have Google, YouTube, Android, which are three of the brands they're um, promoting on the website. And um, under Google, this group, you will find all merchandise related to Google. So those pages are categorized here, all merchandise related to YouTube, and here all merchandise related to Android. Uh, and then you can see that um, from here, they go to the first interaction, the second interaction, like how they are moving through different steps. Uh, and this is very visual and that's why it's so helpful to see, oh, here we have so many drops, like 11,000 people dropped off right here from 12,000. So only 1,000 people actually moved forward. So there must be something wrong in one of these pages. So I would like to know what is going on here. Um, and then if you want to move to the right, like what happens after a second interaction, you have this home button right here where you, you have these two navigation arrows. You can click on this arrow and you see the third interaction there. And then you click it further, then you see the fourth interaction there. You, you keep clicking and you will keep on seeing the interactions that are happening. And what this tells you is that, for example, if you're an e-commerce website like Google Merchandise Store is, then you can see if there are drop-offs which are unintended, like this is not what you uh, what you wanted um, to, to see here. And you could also zoom in into any of those by clicking on these links and then this will just expand the the graphs the graphics a little bit further um, the other important feature is that if you're interested for example in only those people who started off from the uh, google merchandise page then what you can do is you click on here and then you can say highlight my traffic through here and then you see very very clean visual of how these people are moving. So from Google pages, they moved into a not set page. So the first thing I'd like to do is basically, I wanted to see what pages are being uh, categorized under not set. And that you can do by clicking 
um, um, clicking on this and then you have these two options again so you can click on group details here and then you see that the content group is not set but then you have the drop downs here where you can look at the traffic breakdown and then you see all the different URLs um, that those people went to so um, but this does not give you the complete picture because you know you have um, you go to group details and you see traffic breakdown but you have these three um, the, the ellipses which means that there are other pages also where they went to so um, grouping is good because then it gives you an aggregate picture if your website is too huge and you have a lot of visitors but if your website is small and you just start it up then this not set wouldn't really be available there so you you will be able to see more pages there and get more um, detail um, we can also change this to pages and events so now you can look at a specific page urls where people went to so for example this is the first page where people are coming to and it's it's you you can see if you can read um, it says a search.html slash quick view now what this means is basically you wouldn't know because um, if you have not gone to Google Merchandise Store website, you wouldn't know what this URL stands for. But as far as I can guess from, from this URL, it's the search page of um, someone searching on something and then the search results page is displayed there. But you see that there are 175 um, sessions that happen on this page uh, and all, almost all of them were dropped. Um, as you can see so uh, nobody moved 175 people did not move any further and then again there were like people who um, went to the home page but did not move any further so there are drop drops here out of the 928 interactions um, only these people are the one that you see here who moved on to a, another page and the rest did not and then they basically some of these people moved to a category page and then they, they moved the email um, to this event so those events are being t are taking place here um, so as you can see that if you read through this then it says contact us on site click and email so looks like the people who came to this this path basically sent an email to google they contacted them so uh, that's very nice to know because you know there is a path that you discovered here that, that people are taking uh, and you could you could basically dig deeper into why people are dropping off from these pages and, and then they're moving on to the contact page they're firing these events um, on some of the pages so as you can see this is a very very important and interesting report as well uh, where you could um, just you know, check out um, where people are dropping off, how they are behaving, what events are they uh, triggering uh, during the during their path, and are those events um, making sense to you, or should they be there? Um, it also helps you understand the paths that users are taking, and these paths are important because you may have thought of a very simple straightforward path because that's how you visualize your checkout process or your uh, customer journey uh, customer path but if you look here then maybe there are some anomalies that you would see and then you would figure out maybe there are certain pages that are being uh, kind of like a blocker for the, the journey or the path that you had intended for so i hope this you found this useful and um We'll be coming up with more videos. If you have any comments related to this, if you have any questions, just post them in the comments below and we'll be sure to um, answer them as soon as possible. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you can subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram. See you later.